You'd have to be a fan of felines, presumably, to grasp the concept here. I like movies and cats, as do many people. That's why I came up with an idea to start these cat-themed cinema. Jiang Xiaojia is 31, single, and owns the cat cinema, where you can pet or feed the clutter of black bombays before catching a flick in one of its private screening rooms. For Qi Si, China's Valentine's Day, Jiang's added a romantic touch. The rooms are on promotion for 199 yuan, that's just under $30. The number 9 in Chinese sounds the same as the word for eternal. The price is similar to regular cinemas, so most people can afford it. And that may entice cost-conscious Casanovas, concerned about the effects of a trade war with the U.S. and a protracted economic slowdown. Not that consumer spending in China has been in a rut. In June, retail sales grew 9.8% year-on-year. That's compared to an 8.6% increase in May. The boost in domestic consumption has been thanks largely to billions of dollars in tax cuts rolled out by the government. The luxury segment's been a particularly bright spot for retailers in the run-up to TC. Besides a reduction in import duties on luxury goods, brands have narrowed price gaps with overseas markets. To profit from TC, some labels have launched dedicated lines, and adding to the hype, some items are available only in limited quantities. There's also been a big shift in digital engagement with consumers. According to a study by research firm Gartner, the use of WeChat mini programs jumped 70% from 40% last year among fashion labels. They're essentially mini store apps that function within the wider multi purpose app owned by tech giant Tencent. So we're talking about a couple of hundred million people, active users, using it every day. And when people buy or uh, purchase things, especially luxury, they listen to their friends' uh, relative suggestions, and they usually do that through WeChat. Still, new challenges for China's luxury market could emerge as a result of the central bank's recent decision to weaken the yuan. China says the currency devaluation offsets the effects of U.S. tariffs. But that could lower consumer confidence in the long run and keep people from making grand romantic gestures. Patrick Falk, TRT World, Beijing.